Now that you're ready to ship your products to FBA, it's important to make sure that you comply with FBA product barcode requirements so that your products are received smoothly and can be sent to customers as soon as possible. You can find these requirements by clicking the link at the bottom of the screen. FBA uses barcodes to identify and track every item in your inventory throughout the fulfillment process. This is why it's important that every item you send to an Amazon fulfillment center has a single, scannable, correct barcode that can be clearly read by our scanners. Otherwise, we can encounter problems while processing your items, such as determining what your item is, who it belongs to, or where it has to go. When products arrive at the fulfillment center and are not labeled correctly, we have to set those items aside and apply labels to them. This results in unplanned prep service fees, which are more expensive than the FBA prep service fees and also delays your products from becoming available for sale. In FBA, there are two different barcode types you can use, manufacturer barcodes and Amazon barcodes. Manufacturer barcodes are barcodes that manufacturers place on their products and are typically a UPC or EAN for most products or an ISBN for books. Items in your inventory that are identified and tracked using manufacturer barcodes are co-mingled with items of the same products from other sellers who also use manufacturer barcodes for those items. If you use the manufacturer barcode, you don't have to apply an Amazon barcode to each item yourself. Amazon is able to track who sent the inventory to FBA, even when you use the manufacturer barcode. If any inventory issues arise, we take the original source into consideration. Remember, to be eligible to use the manufacturer barcode, items must be in new condition with a single scannable barcode that corresponds to a single ASIN in the Amazon catalog, not be expiration dated, and not be consumable or topical products, such as skin creams, shampoos, or cosmetics. For products tracked with the manufacturer barcode, the existing barcode on the product packaging is usually sufficient and no other barcodes need to be applied to the item. However, if the manufacturer barcode cannot be scanned because it is obscured by protective bubble wrap, for example, or for any other reason, then you need to apply a secondary barcode to the outside of the protective packaging. Secondary barcodes can be printed from the Manage Inventory page in Seller Central. You can tell that these are secondary barcodes and not standard Amazon barcodes because they start with the letter B or a number. An Amazon barcode, on the other hand, starts with the letter X. It is unique to each seller and product combination and is used for items that are not tracked using the manufacturer barcode, either because they're not eligible or because the seller has chosen not to use the manufacturer barcode for tracking. So, for all items that don't use the manufacturer barcode printed on the packaging, you need an Amazon barcode label, which can be printed during the shipment creation. This barcode will need to be applied to each sellable unit. Keep in mind that the Amazon barcode needs to cover any other barcode, including the manufacturer barcode, and it also needs to be on the outside of any protective packaging so it's easily accessible for scanning. It's important that you know an Amazon barcode is specific to a listing in your Manage Inventory page. This means, that it is possible to have multiple Amazon barcodes for the same ASIN through multiple listings. This can happen, for example, because you are selling an ASIN in different conditions. It's also possible to create an accidental duplicate listing for an ASIN that already has a listing. This can be particularly problematic if you send items through the second listing you created, but use the Amazon barcode from the first listing. This problem can also happen with different listings of one product, but with small variations. For this reason, it's important that you print the Amazon barcode label specific to every listing you create in order to make sure that the barcodes link correctly to your products. If you don't, you risk additional service fees and delays in your products becoming available for sale. Now that you know about the different barcode types and which one you need for items in your inventory, it's time to make sure your account settings are what you want them to be. There are two situations in which you need to be aware of the barcode type you want to use. The first is when you create a new FBA listing, and the second is when you send additional inventory for one of your existing listings. You can find out or change your default FBA product barcode preference by checking your Fulfillment by Amazon settings in Seller Central. Your FBA product barcode preference sets the default for all new listings that you create. Even though this is your default setting, you have the option to change the barcode type for each new listing that you create. It's important to remember that your barcode preference only applies to listings that you create after your preference was set. Your existing listings won't change if you update your preference. To change the type of barcode for any existing listings, you'll need to create a new listing for that product and set the desired barcode type during creation. Remember, every time you replenish inventory for an existing listing, the barcode preference remains the same as the preference you selected when you originally created the listing. If you want to change the barcode type for that listing, you'll need to create a new listing for that product. If you're not sure if a listing is set to use the manufacturer barcode or an Amazon barcode, 
you can find out by going to your Managed Inventory page. If you don't see the FNSKU header above your product listings, go to your Manage Inventory Preferences and enable the display of the FNSKU column. An FNSKU is an internal identifier that Amazon uses for Amazon Fulfilled Inventory. The ID shown in the FNSKU column is the same as the ID for each barcode printed from Seller Central. If the FNSKU for a listing starts with the letter X, it means that listing uses an Amazon barcode. If the FNSQ starts with a B or a number, it means that listing uses a manufacturer barcode. And finally, once you print the labels with your barcodes, make sure that they are readable. This means they're not blurry, smeared, or smudged, and that the label title matches the item you have placed it on. Now that you know the different types of barcodes and how to make sure your seller account reflects the barcodes that you want to use, you're ready to create your FBA shipment. Mm -hmm.